All right, now let's look at a recursively defined sequence. That just means you need to know the previous terms to find the next term. So if it, we want to find the fourth term, they've given us the first term. That's what a sub 1 means. That's the first term is 3. This is saying to find the fourth term, or really in any term, what you need to know is you'll have 3 times this is the previous term. So uh, here's kind of just a way of thinking about this. If you see a sub n, that just refers to any term, the nth term. Uh, that's how we'd actually read that, is the nth term. But uh, a sub n minus 1 just means the term previous. So this is the previous term. Because n represents some number. So if you want to find the fourth term, a sub n minus 1 would be 4 minus 1, which would be the third term. So this is saying if you want to find the any term, you look at three times the previous term minus term number plus two. So here's, let's see how we define this. If I want to find the fourth term, this says I need to have three times the previous term, which would be four minus one, or simply put three, minus n, which we know n is now four, plus 2. Well, we got to know the third term. Do we know the third term? No, we don't. So what we have to do then, if we don't know the third term, is we have to try to find the third term. So to find the third term, we would say that's 3 times the previous term, which what's previous to 3, the second term, minus term number, which in this case is 3, plus 2. Well, do we know what the second term is? No, we don't. So we need to find what the second term is. So how do we find the second term? Well, we say the second term is equal to 3 times the first term, we do know what the first term is. We know a sub 1 is 3. That is the first term there. Okay, and so then we would subtract the term number, which in this case, term number is 2, and then add 2 more. So 3 times 3 is 9. Subtract 2, add 2, those just can't, these just simplify out. And so we have 9 for the first term. Now that we know we have 9, we take that and we plug that in there. And so we would have 3 times 9, which is 27, minus 3, which gives us 26, plus 2 more equals 28. Now that we have 28, we plug that in there. And so we would have uh, 3 times 28, which that I believe is 84. Let's check that real quick. I believe that's 84. 3 times 28. Yep, 84. And then we minus 4, which is 80. And then we add 2. So we get, uh, let's say 84 minus 4 is 80. Add 2. So we get 82. That would be the fourth term. So a sub 4 would equal. 82. So in the future, the quickest way, when you see what's called the recursive, is you start from the beginning with 3, and you plug in, and you work your way up. So you start with the lowest term. Okay, so here's one for you to try, and I would suggest you start with a sub 1, plug in the formula to find a sub 2, and keep going on until you find the fifth term.